Okay guys, Aquamaldo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. So she has moved. She has moved quite nicely and it has broken this stop loss which I have marked. And of course if you were like counting on this uh, higher price here it's uh, as I'm gonna talk about it today it's not out of the table not yet okay but we have this price action here this is a six hours chart Bitfinex okay let's forget about this stop loss because it this the ship has pretty much sailed right <laughs> And I was counting on this is on this uh, higher price here, and that's it. That's the market waiting to to. I have said that right, that a break a, a breakout down is was possible, and it happened. But it's it was not a significant breakdown. Okay, it, if we look at the volume, at least daily volume, right? We can't see a, a huge. Uh, I'm, we are gonna talk about it. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys wh why I don't think this is a, such a significant movement, and why I think that we still have um, ground and pressure to go one leg up. Okay, of course, it's uh, my count that was an A B C D E cannot. Uh, I. I am uh, I, I I'm disconsidering this count now because it should have broken above, not be, not to this downside. So that's it. Okay, we broke to the downside, but this is is the the, the trend line that is holding it. Okay, we haven't get the targets here to the algo targets, and we have formed this 50% here, again. So if you have been following my videos, I have formed all those 50% here and this 38, 20%. Since the beginning of this correction, I have been doing this. 50% from the highest point to the lowest. Okay, and it has been narrowing yeah? the, the movement. It, it's, it's getting tighter and tighter. And it was not different this time. Because if we get this pivot high here, um, we should consider this pivot high here and this low here. Look how look how smaller it's getting. It's almost the same place, you see? From this highest point here to this lowest here. Okay, I am uh, <clears throat> and here we have the elbow targets. Minus 3360, minus 3820, and minus 618 together with the minus 33 60 percent so this is an important target which is by the way exactly where we have the y wave here which is the lowest low of the year so we might have a double bottom so we have um we have algos that are probably waiting for this 50 percent here to to start shorting bitcoin and buy here again and whoever sold it here is waiting to buy it back here so it's a really strong um, target this target here we have plenty of confluence here so um, this lowest low of the year might be uh, challenged again this is uh, how much it is, it is. Uh, this is 57 160 okay so bear in mind that in order to do that we need to to, to get to those algo targets here to to go below 6k okay to break this trend line here and what else we need to uh, actually the, the the picture is pretty it's it's pretty there it's pretty darn bearish okay um but we have been following this pattern here of 50% and trying to break down and get to the double targets, which is a, which is a, a, a failed pattern because we have never touched the double targets down here. Never. Never from this highest point here, this would be the double targets, never touched 
none uh, none of those all those uh, none of those our targets here have been reached have been touched okay okay you might consider this minus 33 60 percent it has been reached here but this algo target here has been formed afterwards okay it has been formed here not before it so the the algo target for this this for the lowest low of the year would be this algo target here 50 percent here the algo target would be looking to this minus 30 60 percent that would be the Y here, and if it failed to get to the minus 33, 60 percent, again this X here, the algo target would be this minus 33, 60 percent here. Failed W here, the W. Okay, so are we gonna get to those algo targets here finally and finish this this correction? I don't know. Um, let's take a look at the. This is the weekly chart. We have a a really nice piece of information here again first we have this tentative cross here this bearish cross if it confirms this cross it would be the first time that we would have a uh, the 21 crossing the 55 ema would be, which would be a nasty cross indeed that would be the first time and that would really uh, confirm that we are going down we would need to break this blue line in here that has been tried over and over and over if we look at it uh take a look at here every time that we try it it has failed to break below it we are now below this blue line but it's it's pulling back okay are we gonna close the week above it we don't know if we close above it, if we close above this blue line, I, I'm pretty sure that we are gonna test this this line again. This the the the, the, uh, the we test the bottom line, then we're gonna test the upper line, and then we're gonna do this again and again and again. Okay, this kind of triangle in, in this this triangle in the weekly chart is it's a clear picture of what's happening. We're trying to to go down not testing the 100 EMA and going up so it remains to be seen what's gonna happen here guys and we have this tentative cross here this bearish cross this is my daily chart that i have present to you we are we are now 299 days almost 300 days correcting guys almost one year and we are within this range here that the td sequential has drawn it the td sequential has drawn this range here surprise surprise we have crossed the td sequential resist uh, support and we are pulling back okay so we are within this range so it might look like a a, a, a huge movement but it's not really so we haven't we haven't touched our target we haven't touched a significant um uh, Fibonacci target or anything so the 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 oopsie sorry guys the picture it's almost the same of course this movement is gonna take uh it's gonna give us some information but not a lot it's not gonna change everything I'm still counting on some kind of bullish momentum here to get a better B here okay that would make us an A, B, C to finish this Z here, okay? Uh, I still think that we are going to need to touch perhaps this 50%, but I am... As we touch this TD sequential here, this is... We, we, we touch, then we cross it, okay? Again, let me zoom this thing. We touched it and we cross it, but we, we, we crossed and a lot of... The, the, this has been uh, since, I don't know, September, right? Since August. Every time we try to break it, we have pulled it back. It has not... So far, what we are seeing is the same thing. So, if we really pull it back, we are... What is likely is that we're going to test the, this TD resistance here. The upper resistance here. This, this would be 7100. The, the same one, the same... 
the target that I have been calling for the past week, for the past month, perhaps. So <clears throat> that's what I am. I'm, I am kind of uh, inclined to to uh, considering my account in my account. Okay, if we really pull it back and we close the day pulling it back like here, let, let let's just see the. Well, we won't. Yeah, we are way below. We are we are way below the twenty one EMA. It's a pr pretty bearish. Yeah, not nothing. We yes, the the, the bullish abandon is now opened. Yes, yeah, but we don't we don't have a lot of uh, considering the EMAs and everything. But if we take a look at the RSI, it, it has really, it has crossed the, the bottom line here, but it's, we might have something like this. We might have a throw off. We might do something like this. Okay. And then try again, you know, it's not decisive what is go what's happening here, really. At least at the daily chart and let's take a look at the obv the obv is we are now touching the this bottom line here if we, let me let me draw a, a tiner line uh, starting to here we are now crossing it but not with a lot of volume so <clears throat> and of course the the yes I, I said that yesterday right that we might have that i was counting on a on a turning ups to the upside here <clears throat> but then as we the instagram is showing perhaps what we're gonna have is this okay this would if we indeed start doing start uh, building something like this here then of course we're gonna see lower prices okay something like this a triangle here just like this perhaps not like this but something like this of course <clears throat> but we are below the zero here okay bearish 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 um so not a lot of hope for the boost if we look at the indicators here huh but i still think that we need to take a look at the price action and see what's happening with this with this candle here and where this candle is going to close if it's going to close above this blue line here i think that it's one indication that we might see something else that we might see some kind of uh, pullback here in order to of course get a get a, uh, a better price okay for the shorts um this is my one hour this is actually four hour short let me show you guys a one hour shot because then it's difficult to count let me use the two hours yes uh, if we assume that this is the b here and it's finished this is an a b and this is a c okay we have a, a truncated c this is a truncation some kind of a wxy would have here we need to but let's just make it this way okay and then we would have this as the beginning of a one two three this is the this is a one then this is a two definitely there is no other way of counting it if we are two three then we would need a four five perhaps we haven't finished the wave three what we have here you see it's the target for a wave three i, I think that we have one more, one more leg down and then of course this support here where i mark the support in here this is a strong support okay that has been a support for the until august you know the whole august when we tried we break it down here but then we have all the reaction that formed this this reaction here that I call the the A wave within this B wave, okay. And uh, 
yeah we in, we have the 50 percent for this b we tried to break this this 50 percent twice here and we failed and then we are going down i won't say that we are going to have a significant uh pullback here but i'm kind of counting on it because of different perspectives that i have i still have this target here but when we look at the at this kind of chart here uh, one hour two hour chart it's difficult to make the case that we're gonna go up to one more leg especially after this this sideways kind of a bearish flag uh, this is a classic bearish flag i, I was i was a little bit uh, reluctant to say that this was a bearish flag but we how can we say uh, how can we not see this bearish flag right it's a bearish flag indeed in hindsight is always everything is always so clear right in hindsight we have everything so clear but when we are but when we are leaving the situation it's never clear that's the reality of markets guys don't forget that this is the kind of pattern that it's a bearish flag indeed and then we are going down if, if you count it one two yes then we will have this this is the my fib extension here okay considering this as a one two then we have the three here for any i think that perhaps if we count it as a one two then we would have what what is the 50 percent if we if you are to test this is my stop loss let me take this out wipe off okay <clears throat> clear the clutter huh so this is the one this is the the target here for perhaps minus 33 38 20 percent here for five see here nope we need lower targets right but this is a 5800 this would be the first leg of this C wave, right? Three, four, perhaps here, 50%, perhaps test here above the support here. So not going a higher than this. It's going to be difficult to, to, to test again this 6400. This is, going, this is now a resistance, okay? This was a previous... Uh, support but now it has become a resistance let me change to red copy this thing here it's a resistance now okay so now we have this resistance and this is a resistance as well right it's a support but it's changing into a resistance previous resi previous support is now a resistance okay this is a support it has worked we we are now out of this support here but this one here we need to cross it perhaps get to this resistance okay here we have the 50% for our for our fourth fourth wave and then if this is indeed the third wave here and it's it has finished okay i'm not sure and then we are going to have one more leg down that's it guys it's uh, i would trade this I, I would trade this shorting as i have been trading for the whole month for the past three months i'm not gonna enter along because come on we see this this pattern here we see this pattern here at the one the daily chart it's difficult to argue that you have some kind of a uh, buy opportunities okay opportunities too long it's risky okay we need to be really really careful when entering along okay so my count is almost the same we are okay just to wrap up things we are finishing this wave z here okay it's the same thing the the the, the we might have some kind of changes here some uh, different price actions but the whole picture is still the same okay we had a triangle here don't forget I, i'm not disregarding the triangle we broke the triangle to the downside remember this was a triangle 
this blue line here, this blue trend line, we broke it. Okay, we broke to the downside, the triangle. Okay, now it is likely that we are going to go down again. It's likely. But I won't uh, disregard the fact, the fact that we might test this this 7k again we have indeed this range of uh, price here that might be tested again unless we break this blue line decisively and we close the day below it okay that's my uh, th that's my whole picture okay and this is my 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 count for the moment okay one two three four five this is this would be wave one okay if we are to to get those targets here okay really really low targets 5200 and then 4k and of course we might have a 3k here is 4200 okay this is a really good target if you want to consider shorting 5700 <laughs> it's difficult to not see bitcoin um trying to get around this region again perhaps a double bottom and then going up who knows right this is the market a lot of a lot of uncertainty so let's see how we close the day and that's it if you have questions or whatever if you have suggestions or critics uh you have the the the, the comments down below it's always welcome and if you want to join us in our discord server the invitation is down below as well and thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you haven't followed me on twitter please consider doing so i am always trying to update there okay thank you very much and enjoy your trades let's see what bitcoin and all the altcoins have for us I expect a good weekend for us. Cheers. Bye-bye.